Yayaman ako pag, tum- pag tumaya ako sa loto. Well, I don't believe in that mindset because hindi ka titigil hanggat tumaya ka na tumaya sa loto. Success is not about luck. It will never be. Success is a result of what you love doing and as a result of consistency. Kapag nanalo ka sa loto, congratulations. But ang point doon, even if you have 200 million, if you do not know how to use that 200 million, it will not have any sense. Pwede mong ubusin yun in one month. What happens? What happens next? That's the biggest question. So, I think we have to change that mindset. And I always believe that consistency and you know doing what you love will bring you success. Number two, make it, uh, fake it till you make it. Bluff your way through success. Wear the most expensive watch. Mm. Know the jargon. No, um, it, it's not about wearing the most expensive watch. I think wearing an expensive watch is a result of your success because you wanted to have that. So you will do everything in your power to have that. But I think, as I always say, you always have to start from the basic. And if you will always start from the basic, you will know all the trials, all the challenges, and the hardships that you have to go through before you will be able to buy one, perhaps. Kaya naniniwala ako kapag binigay lang ng nanay mo yung yaman mo sa'yo. And you never, went, you never started from scratch. It will be very difficult for you to test yourself in the real world. A few more questions. Bakit pa ako mag-aaral kumikita na ako? Again, another good question. College education is only 30% of your success. The rest of 70% will come from your experience. However, yung 30% na yun is your stepping stone. You need to know what is right. You need to know what is wrong. You need to know the basic fundamentals. Hindi kailangan memorization. It doesn't have to be everything from the book. What they give you in school is fundamentals. 30% theory, but 70% will come from after that theory. You need to continue that because that is where discipline comes in. However, if you are not disciplined enough, even if you have financial resources, for an example, at hindi kayo mahirap, I think that's the biggest problem. It will boils down to the motivation of a person of what he or she needs to do as he moves forward in his life. Hindi ako yayaman hanggat empleyado ako. Kailangan kong maging businessman o magkaroon ng sarili kong business. That's a good question. Entrepreneurship is a way for you to go beyond the box. Minsan kasi we are already in our comfort zone. It means that you're already used to what you're doing for the past 15, 20, 30, 40 years. Even if you are working as a vice president of a multinational company, you're only good at that specific expertise, for an example, for finance. That's why most of the people from corporate, after working for 40 years and they plan to retire and they want to have their own business, it will be very difficult for them to do entrepreneurship. Bakit? Bisaya, nano. Because first, they do not know what is total management. So if you will ask me, do you need to become wealthy? I think that's the wrong reason about I want to go outside of corporate para yung maman. I want to go outside of corporate because I want to challenge myself perhaps, go beyond my comfort zone, and try something new for myself so that I can also, you know, try and test the waters. Last question, kailangan kong i-close si boss para pag magpo-promote na maalala niya ako. That's a wrong mentality in the Filipino culture, but that's the normal one. It happens in real life. Sipsipan system actually exists in any organization, and that is where politics or political will come in. However, we wanted to mitigate those. Pagiging sipsip, well, it exists, pero we have to mitigate. Lalo na kapag very cool, very familial culture ang Filipinos. So, may palakasan system. What do we do? We have to be objective as much as possible, kahit mahirap, kahit na close kayo. Pero that is where the reality is. Pag may sipsipan system, even if you get promoted right on the spot, if you got promoted, what happens next if you're ready, if you are not ready yet for that position? Bonus question pala. Come in before the boss does, leave after the boss does. It's more about initiative. Trying to prove yourself that you're worthy in the organization. And aside from that is, hindi siguro pakitan tao yun. I think, if you are really, if you really love what you do because you're motivated to go to work, going before the boss comes in, sorry, let's change the, part, the phrase. Coming in before the leader comes in, because I, we don't consider ourselves in this company boss. We want to become leaders. And leaders and bosses are different from one another. So if the leader come, if you come in before the leader comes in, and because as a result of your positive intention that you're happy sa ginagawa mo, okay lang. Pero kung gusto mo na mapakita ng gilas dahil leader mo siya, at gusto mo ng extra incentives or bonus, I think that's something else. What's the difference between boss and leader? Boss is always about I. It's always about commanding. Leader is about accountability. Showing an example to others. And the most important thing is, boss doesn't create leaders. Leaders create more leaders.